Pokemon is the biggest multimedia franchise in the world. Credited by Game Freak, it has been going on for almost 30 years now, with 9 whole generations. The first released in 1996. And just wait a moment. This isn't going to be my normal review type video. Instead, I want to show you guys a little creative project I've been working on for a few months now. It's been a big thing in the Pokemon community to make your own fan regions, and you know, regions in Pokemon are based on real life locations. So a big thing in the fan in the Pokemon community is to make regions on places that haven't been made. So welcome to my fan region, Altonia. Altonia is based on the state in which I reside, good old California. The map may look a little undetailed, with cities just being circles and dots and all, but keep in mind I'm still working on it, this is still a work in progress. And this is just a more general layout which I'm going with. The region is split between a south and north side, with the south being hotter, drier, desert, arid climate. And the north is more temperate, it has more mountains and forests, kind of like real life. Both sides have a lot of mountains, but for the south, I'm calling them canyons just to differentiate a little bit more. Coasts and valleys are common on both sides of the region. Of course, there's the huge western coast of California, and you know, there's valleys everywhere between mountains. But the most common thing in California in real life is urban environments. You can't go five minutes without being in a city in California. Really, you can't. The only times is when you're out in the desert, but that's because it's been underdeveloped for a while because, you know, it's a desert. Nobody really wants to go live out in the desert, but now people are moving out to the desert. So now it's starting to get developed, but it's still underdeveloped. But you, you really can't. So much of California is covered in urban and suburban settlements. Very little open space between cities and towns. And I'm going to reflect that in the region. Pokedex is split into seven parts. Urban, valley, canyon, mountain, coast, forest, and legendary. Legendary isn't a, an environment, but I wanted to keep the legendary Pokemon separate from everything else. So the, it's all based on where they live, besides legendaries, because, you know, they're kind of different Pokemon altogether, and I think they deserve a little special area. A big thing that kind of bothered me about regular, po about regular Pokemon is that cities are really small. <laughs> It's a city, and there's like five houses and a few buildings. So, in Altonia, they're gonna be big, and there's gonna be houses and stuff. Uh, you probably won't be able to explore all of them, but this isn't going to be a game, so that doesn't matter. The placement of cities and towns in Altonia kind of mirrors real life, to a point. Of course, I can't get every single city and town and everything else in California, real life, like real-life California, into the game, because it's way too many places and a lot of the times it would just bleed over and there'd be no room for the wild areas. And, you know, you kinda need those for Pokemon. So I kinda just went with the more populated cities and stuff to become the cities and towns of the game. E except for a few, which are ones that I personally kind of lived around and stuff. I know more about those and I thought those were more important to me, so I made those instead. So, I also tried to generally place the biomes where they were in real life, kind of. Of course, like, there's a lot of forests in California, surprisingly. But I'm not gonna have the entire forest go around the entire damn region. You know, I'm not... Uh, uh, just to help diversify things a little bit, I moved them around. I'll get into geography and all that in a later video. Now, let's go over the, honestly, most important part of a Pokémon region, the actual Pokémon. And what better ones to start with than the ones you start the game with, the starters. Uh, I'll only be going over the first forms for the video, because the rest of the evolutions kind of give away a thing I wanted to make another video on, so you're only meeting the first forms. So these are the starters. Sloth Strait, Vipire, and Viabaleen. Sloth Strait is the grass starter. Its name is a mix of sloth and substrate. You know what a sloth is, the slow-moving animals that eat leaves and do nothing. But if you don't know what a substrate is, a substrate is a material used to grow mushrooms. And that kind of just explains what a sloth strait is. So sloth strait is a little sloth substrate. It's a sloth that has mushrooms growing out of it because it moves really slow and that allows mushrooms to take hold and begin to grow on it. Vipire. Vipire is the fire starter. It 
comes from viper and pyre. So, it's basically just a fire snake. I can't really elaborate on this one too much, which kind of sucks, because its later forms are the ones with the more inspiration part. This is just the beginning of the concept. It gets more fleshed out later we go, but I sadly can't show that to you right now, because they spoil something I want for a later video. But for now, just know he's a little fire snake, and like, real life how vipers have those, I think it's vipers, they have those little, the pit, what are they called, pit organs, pit sensors, whatever, the ones where they can see heat. Uh, basically, Vipire uses those, and then it also cooks its food when it eats it. Yeah, it's a little underwhelming, but just know that the concept gets better as it goes on. But look at him, he's cool. He's got a little fire pattern on his belly, and he's got little fire eyebrows, and a little fire tongue. <laughs> I wish I could go for this one more, but it's the, next, the, the video that shows up the rest. It, it, it's better if you just wait. Anyways, finally we have Vibelline. That's a hard name. It's the water starter. It comes from, you know, vibration, the stuff that makes sound in water. And baleen, the stuff that whales use to filter feed. It's based on baleen whales and their songs. And it's funny because I actually have a fear of whales and I don't like the way they sound. So it's kind of funny that I made the starter, this one. It's also funny because it's my favorite one that I made, so, you know. It's kind of funny. Anyways, it's got little headphones and a speaker on its nose because it sings and it loves music. It's partially based on a tadpole, and that gets more evident the later on, uh, the, in the later forms which you can't see right now, because it'll be shown later. But yeah, those are the three starters. Altonia is something that I've been working on for a few months now, and I'm excited to show off more. So please, let me know what you think. Uh, I'll see you next time.